Hello, welcome to the Monitoring Academy. My name is Sandra. Today I'm going to take you through changing the configuration files on Thames for Windows. First of all, we'll go to the monitoring server, which is down here. Again, you can do an advanced, you can do EMV file, and you've got your EMV file there. Again, you can change or add to the file that way. Or, again, it will ask you to change, and we won't change it at the moment. Or we can go to the directory for the file. Now, Thames is the CMS in Windows, so we go into that directory, and the file concerned is the KBBENV file. There we are. Yeah. Again. Open it with your text editor, and again, it's the same as the previous file. For this file, I'm going to do a couple of changes. The first one is I'm going to add three lines at the end, which I happen to have here, which helps with tuning on high-loaded systems. But I also note that I've still got it at quite... I also note that I have it at a trace level, because I was looking at the soap traces. Now I'm going to take that out and change it back to error. And we will then exit the file, save the changes, and again, we'll just go back to the mTEMS and we'll do a recycle. Once the TEMS has restarted, again, we can go to the logs directory and look at the latest MS log. Right, for a starter, we can now see it's just error on tracing, which is good, because I've left that tracing on by error, by mistake. Now, let's see if we can see one of the other changes that I made. And see if it's registered in the file. Sometimes changes that we ask for will be listed in the log file, sometimes they won't be. It really depends on what we actually ask for. At the moment, I can't see them. But let's do a find on And there we go. Yes, the max recursive locks is actually shown in the file. It is now 180. Again, as I say, these changes are for a high loaded system. So that's how to change the files on Windows. Thank you for watching this video at the IBM Monitoring Academy. We appreciate your feedback, so please feel free to use the comments box below. We'd also love you to check the thumbs up box if you appreciated this video. We have added several helpful links to the YouTube comments box below so you can find all our other content on social media. I would definitely recommend that you check out the blogs on DevWorks. Take care.